The Federated States of Micronesia lie in the North Pacific, to the east of the Philippines. They comprise hundreds of islands, divided into four states, and the total population is 105,000 people. Between 2012 and 2015, the Global Climate Change Alliance Pacific Small Island States Project, GCCA PSIS Project, enhanced water security on Fice Island, a remote outer island in Yap State, with a population of around 300 people. In these remote outer islands, residents rely on rainwater catchments and shallow wells for their water supply. However, well water is often not drinkable because of saltwater intrusion. During times of low rainfall, islanders often have to resort to drinking from coconuts. The GCCA project was one of the first projects to focus on climate change adaptation measures in remote outer islands, distant from the capital island. The very high logistical costs was one of the important lessons learned. This was mainly due to the high cost of transportation and the infrequent shipping schedules. Through the project, rainwater catchment systems were installed in the community compounds and a groundwater well was refurbished and equipped with a solar pump. This was completed in 2015. During the first six months of 2016, the Federated States of Micronesia, like other North Pacific Islands, experienced one of the most serious El Nino droughts in decades. Water rationing was in place in the larger capital islands and forest fires broke out. The neighboring islands of Yab were significantly impacted by the 2015 El Nino. Requests for assistance from the neighboring islands to Yab state government and the El Nino task force created were quickly received and had to be addressed. As I understand from the Department of uh, Resources and Development, Fias Islanders fared a lot better in comparison to the rest of the neighboring islands of Yap State. And that was in no small part due to the GCCA PSIS project because it helped Fias Island in increase their water storage capacity, it helped improve their groundwater well, and helped with installation of the solar water pump, which at the time helped them out during that emergency. As part of the European Union North Pacific Readiness for El Nino project, a team from Yap State Government and non-government organizations visited Fice Island in February 2019 with the goal of consulting with the communities to hear their perspectives on the longer-term impact of the previous water security improvement measures installed between 2012 and 2015. In Yap State, including Fice Island, men are generally perceived to have the most significant role in decision-making for major community projects. However, women play an active role in implementing community activities, and on Fice Island, women and children spend a significant amount of time each day fetching water. Recognizing these social factors, the 2019 consultations were carefully designed so that separate consultations were held with each group. Firstly, the women to hear their views, then with the youth, and then with the men. Finally, a joint consultation was held with all the groups together. During the 2019 visit, the household water storage systems were inspected and a questionnaire survey about water use and climate change was conducted with each household. The major finding from the assessment was that the community members want to be involved in the installation of all future water security measures so that they can acquire the skills necessary 
for repair and maintenance. It was also noted that some of the tanks developed cracks, resulting in leakages, and this is being discussed with the manufacturer. During the assessment and consultations, it was encouraging to learn that there was a 13% increase in the number of households regularly cleaning their tanks and that a Taramal FIS organization had been established to oversee regular maintenance and repair of the rainwater harvesting systems. <laughs> The Rennie project is taking these recommendations on board and working to ensure that community members are involved in the installation of all water security measures. Further, Training in maintenance is being provided to communities at the start of installation and at the end of the project as assets are handed over to the communities. Communities are also being provided with a selection of spare parts and tools for maintenance and repair. The FSM impact assessment illustrates the importance of bringing communities together to assess the impacts several years after projects have closed so as to identify sustainability issues and incorporate solutions into the design and delivery of new projects.